Hey guys, Big Granny here. So I'm redoing uh, an old uh, tutorial of uh, Retail Tycoon. So I decided that I uh, w shouldn't make an updated version because there's a lot of new features to Retail Tycoon. Not only that, I didn't explain some of the things very well in, my ty uh, or in Retail Tycoon. And uh, this might be a little bit longer of a tycoon, but if you're just wondering about stuff or looking for a better version, I did not plan this out yet. So we'll see what happens. But um, on the left side of your screen, this is where you manage your store and all that stuff, all your upgrades, stuff like that. So this side's very important. You need to click or press your keyboard number for that. So if I press three, for instance, through open supply, uh, stuff like that. So on our bottom right, I'm just showing the UI. That way you know where everything is. On the UI on the bottom right, this is uh, settings. There's also change log and credits here if you want to check that out. But anyways, client side AI calculations, uh, if your uh, server is getting laggy, you can put the calculations toward your computer. So 100% on my computer right now. You can also buy cash and there's also admin here, which that isn't really useful for anything. All right, so to get your store started, you need to have some kind of checkout lane. Um, so I recommend starting with a register since it is cheaper. A big tip for you guys is that you can put two registers like right next to each other, so like that and then that, and you can stand in the middle and you can run two checkout lanes at once if your store does get starting, uh, get, uh, starting to get uh, crowded. So I have a, one of my fans joining me today. Um, so if actually let's go ahead and place that down. So let's place down a register. So as you can see right here, uh, the register isn't working because the red light is on, but as soon as you get in it and start working on it, the green light will come on. So there's a suspicious uh, person approaching our store, it says. I don't know where he's at right now, but he must he must have left. But it, there's also new robbers in this game ever since it was updated. So uh, I'll show you what those robbers are like later on when we do get one. It'll notify you. You can click them to arrest them. You can also get guards and stuff. But next is trying to sell stuff. So you can kind of choose what you want to do. Usually the cheaper the item, the more they're going to buy since they are cheaper. Um, Selling electronics is pretty hard because, you know, they don't get bought as much because they're so expensive and they're also super expensive to restock. But pretty much on this game, you make double the profit. So if I was to shell, sell a vid or buy video games for 40 bucks a piece, I'd sell them for 80 bucks a piece. You also have to factor in like worker expenses and stuff. So let's start with uh, some clothing. Clothing is quite expensive, and you, I'd recommend starting with some supplies and always have supplies on backup just in case uh, you do run out at some point. So a lot of people are wondering how do you put stuff on things. So you click manage. And by the way, uh, if you click to supply, you can buy supplies and stuff. You can change how many you buy here. And then if you click over it, you can click order and trash. Uh, and I'll show you how to manage managers and stuff like that. Okay, so next um, we can click uh, manage, which is the one. And then you click the clothing rack and then you can place clothing on it. Since it is a clothing rack, you can put clothing on it. Um, and some of these items, some of these uh, different pieces of furniture, they can hold like a variety of items as well, just so you know. All right, so uh, let's go with like a couple sodas, and then let's get some uh, candy as well. Sell some cheap stuff. So this is a robber right here. Uh, you can click them to arrest him. They have, they wear usually a gray shirt and they have a uh, gray beanie. See, I just clicked him and now he got arrested. He raises his hands up as he's getting arrested. So now if we click our manage tab, as you can see, you can put all kinds of things on this, but I just chose to put candy on it because I bought candy. And then right here, if I select my freezer, I just click soda and it'll start restocking with soda. All right, so since, since we do have some uh, customers, we're gonna go ahead and start working on our checkout lane. Um, so as far as workers uh, go, I don't recommend buying workers at first since you are making uh, only a little bit of profit. So one of my fans is going to take over here. But as you can see, it's operating properly once your customers do buy some stuff. See, we got another robber right here. So you got to click them to get rid of them. You do have to pay close attention because they can happen at any time. And they, it does seem like they are quite common. So that's one of the new updates for you guys. Uh, quite annoying and troublesome, but at the same time, it is pretty cool. So we can buy uh, another thing of clothing here. So as you can see, we're already building up money. Um, a lot of people, they always uh, focus on getting a ton of stock sold and all of a sudden they're bankrupt and um, they don't have any restock to go from because they keep getting more and more upgrades in furniture. Always have a bunch of stock left over. That way, if something does happen, 
then you have a you have a backup plan and stuff like that. So as you can see, my stock's actually not that doing that great. I still have to get a bunch of stuff to keep up with. So we're gonna buy some even more stuff here. My clothing is selling very well. A lot of people recommend clothing for starting out. It is expensive, but it does work quite well. It's one of those cheap items that are necessary for a lot of people. When you do restock stuff and you have it in your inventory, it'll restock it completely, which isn't an issue. It just takes quite a while to load. So next we have uh, upgrades. So you can buy more land uh, and plots here. So we just have one plot right now. You know, it's pretty basic beyond there. Once you get a plot, you can go to build and you can build like floors and stuff. So uh, for example, if I was to bulldoze my window right here and this wall, and then we can go back to build and then we can uh, you can customize however this one, however you want for this but we can place a window just like that and if you hold down shift you can place multiple in a row and uh, there's also different ceilings you can get you can get lights as you can see we have lights in our ceiling you can get skylights which are just uh, a window roof let sunlight in you can also get speakers and play custom music too I think you have to pay for it. I'm not exactly sure get different types of uh, uh, flooring and stuff too. I see a lot of starters, it's not necessarily a mistake, but I don't recommend it, where they delete their walls and their ceilings and stuff, but they keep the floor that way, they have a fully functional store, but they get a bunch of money from deleting stuff. I don't really think it's worth, see, that this, this is a good example right here. You can see that this guy doesn't run very well in stock because he's almost run out of everything. And he deleted all of his walls and stuff to get emergency money because he expanded and didn't have any money left over. So it's important to do that. Um, so as far as upgrades go, you can also upgrade your parking lot. So we have just a basic dirt road. You can get big. The, the bigger the parking lots, the more expensive they are. The best is large paved lot, which is twenty five thousand, and then gravel's twenty five hundred. Gravel's pretty good for the price, considering you go from two to five with just thirty five hundred bucks. Uh, next, we can also upgrade our store sign. This attracts more customers. The small metal sign is quite good because it is $1,000 and it does improve quite a bit. Uh, and then it gets pretty expensive beyond there. So as you can see, we can have more customers. I'd like to thank One Digger for, for taking over my store like that. So again, workers, you can get cashiers to control your registers. Um, the thing is, though, if you get a self-checkout, uh, they are slower. They also take up less space. They're more expensive. Um, they can only hold three customers, and they also don't need a worker. So there is pros and cons to them. It's up to you to use them. But overall, registers are just a lot better for ever managing everything, and they're quite a bit cheaper. So as we're saving up money, we can go ahead and just keep restocking and uh, just buying more items. And then, you know, once we get a good stock going, we can just keep going until we're doing pretty well. So we have uh, more sodas to restock. So it's always good to have a surplus of your inventory. To increase your inventory s space, by the way, uh, what you can build, or furnish actually, is uh, storage racks. This will increase the amount of capacity you can hold in your inventory. I, th I believe it's 200 per storage rack. All right, so let's go back to workers. So again, cashiers control registers and stuff. They, uh, it costs 10 minutes worth of pay to hire them. So for example, if I was to hire a cashier, it'd be 200 plus 20 bucks a minute. So as you can see, they are expensive. But if I was to hire a manager, it'd be 400 bucks plus 40 bucks a minute. That's why I always manage my manually manage my supplies because they're expensive. Restockers, uh, you do require storage racks for them and also constant supplies, otherwise you're wasting your money. Um, and they just run around your store. They grab stock from your uh, these things right here, your storage racks, and then place them and those uh, things automatically. The thing is though, if you have an empty item and you haven't placed stock in it, they're not gonna do anything to it. You have to have a stock in it. So for example, I have soda in my fridge and I have candy, that's what my stock is for those items. And then guards, guards, they're pretty self-explanatory. They just arrest criminals that come to your store. If they're in your store, they'll start chasing them down and trying to arrest them. The guards are pretty slow though, so just remember that. Next is managers. Managers are quite a bit more complicated. I don't recommend them until you get to like mid or end game. And you can perfectly fine manage your uh, supplies. And a lot of people complain that they've gone bankrupt because they can't manage uh, managers correctly. They are quite useful, but at the same time very risky. So as you can see, this is locked here, but you can choose uh, when to auto resupply your stock. So if I was to uh, put five sodas, so if I was to 
tell the manager to put uh, buy five sodas per minute. It would buy five sodas, and it does use your money. Some people don't think it, it doesn't. They don't think that it doesn't use money or something like that. I don't why that makes any sense, but um, so yeah, it is quite useful. At the same time, it's very risky. And if you don't manage your timings correctly, so for example, if you buy too many items every minute, you're just gonna go bankrupt, and then your man your managers and your workers can't live on and be paid. So there is decorations, and again, you can get all these nice cosmetics. As far as I know, um, I do recommend getting lights, even though they're more expensive for your ceiling, just because you're, it's easier to see in your store. You can also increase ceiling height, uh, but it does cost a bit extra too. And this is pretty good ceiling height already. It's 12 studs, 20 studs is almost double that height. So let's go check out uh, some other stores, for example. So that's an example over there. A lot of these stores aren't very good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> Uh, this this store does seem like it's a good setup though. Oh boy, didn't mean to. Uh, hopefully that's not copyright. I made that mistake of walking to to a store. I kind of wish you didn't add music to be honest. Now, um, so I think that's pretty much it for the basics. Um, I might be forgetting stuff, but um, so that's pretty much how you manage everything. Uh, you can oh about furnishing and selling stuff. So if you go to furnish, you can click move to move items around. You just click it and I can just move it like that. You put it back if you want. You can press X to cancel. And um, you can also click R to rotate. So if I was to rotate my clothing rack or rotate this or rotate that, you just have to click it and then sell. You just click it and then you sell the item. You can click press X to cancel or just go back to the tab. And it builds kind of the same thing. You just click the item, you place it down if you have available space. Bulldozing gives 50% value back. And then options, uh, you can change the color of your theme of your store. So for example, if I wanted to put it as red, your store is currently open. You can also close your store so nobody comes to your store. You can play uh, you can play music that's already built into the game, but to get uh, custom ID music, then you need to pay extra. Um, you can also save and put on auto save as well. I have it turned off because this is not my actual store. And let's see what else. You can also have an option to reset. There's some help question marks here. You can also wipe your data, stuff like that. And you can change your uh, icon ID, but you do have to pay extra for that as well. Otherwise, it's just a picture of your character, which is fine by me. So I think I covered all the basics. I do apologize if like I didn't dive into the game, but it's going to take me ages to get that far. Um, so let me show you an example of uh, my current store, for instance. So I'm just going to load into my current one. So I got a bunch of workers here. When you do respawn, you'll have all your workers and stuff. Make sure to save, by the way. That's very important. Um, yeah, pretty much. I have an Omega Walmart. So I just recently um, upgraded my store so it's not very organized or stuff's not really placed correctly but I have a successful store because I've gotten this big and uh, I am gonna probably refurnish and remodel it pretty soon and expand you know I got a maxed out parking lot I got see this is a robber right here um, so wherever my guard is he's gonna walk over here and try to arrest this robber see he does try to speed up too to try to catch him these oh this guards pathfinding is terrible well, why did he walk outside What's this guard doing this guard is like I have some issues. See that work that robber stealing stuff right now. Oh, he's still stealing a hat. See, he just took down the robber, so you can kind of see that happen. I wish I wish there's noises and stuff that these uh, citizens would make. That's actually a cool idea for an update. That would make it a lot more immersive. Or when a guard gets arrested, he's like ah, or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This kind of shows you what your stories can be like. Uh, I don't even have that great of a store, and I've seen store. There's stores out there that are double my size or even triple my size right now. Um, so I uh, let me show you my upgrades again: parking and stores maxed out. I still have half the land, and I don't have like anything special with my ceiling height or I have lights throughout my store. It does look pretty bad, um, and I'm probably gonna replace some flooring soon. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For, sorry for going for so long. I hope this was more helpful, especially for the updated version of Retail Tycoon. And let me know if this was a better tutorial than the other one. I hope it was. And don't forget to subscribe, like, leave some comments, and that'll be all. Thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed and hope this was helpful. Now go run a successful store and have fun. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.